let's look at the uh, relationship of symptoms over time in a little bit more depth. So immediately following trauma exposure, people may have an acute stress reaction, which is fairly short in duration. If we look at acute stress disorder, that's referring to an acute stress response that lasts for as many as 30 days. Then we have acute PTSD, which means a PTSD response between 30 days and about three months. If we're looking at a chronic PTSD sample, that's gonna last between three months and possibly many, many years. And then we have that delayed onset PTSD, again, usually characterized in the military populations, where people may have as many as six months post-trauma, or many, many more, actually, where they, before they develop, display any symptoms of PTSD. So let's consider what symptoms compose acute stress disorder. A lot of clinicians, I believe, mistake uh, acute stress disorder for simply being PTSD symptoms with a duration of less than 30 days. That's actually not accurate. Although acute stress disorder does include the symptoms of PTSD, the symptom clusters of PTSD, the key here, the hallmark of acute stress disorder is the dissociation. So we need to have at least three dissociative symptoms Include, and including the other symptom clusters of PTSD to have acute stress disorder, and again, the duration of less than 30 days.